Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on the start of a new week, Monday, May 8th. God is good. God is good as we see time continue to fly. What should we do? Keep looking up. Our redemption is drawing nigh. All right, our nation that we're praying for is a creative nation. It's number 05. You can see that right on the prayer map. It's right down in this area here. And it says, peace, stability, and the continuous development of this nation are key prayer requests. Pray as our team works to reach new areas and encourage new believers. Pray for fellowship, unity, and protection. Pray also for healing for a ministry worker who had a severe heart attack. All right, we're going to do that. Our state that we're praying for is number eight, Montana, about a million population, 28, <clears throat> excuse me, percent evangelical Christians. Our Bible reading is John chapter two, the wedding in Cana, glory to God. And then we're going to be praying, our prayer focus today is uh, American missionaries abroad, American missionaries abroad. All right, we all set. Let's go ahead. I got the prayer cards. We're ready to go ahead and pray today. Precious Father, we come before you on this new day in Jesus' name, and we start off, Lord, by giving you praise and thanks, Lord. We look at the, uh, the 10 lepers, Lord. They all got healed, but one came back to glorify you or to give you thanks, and because of that, he was made whole. There is something about Thanksgiving. So we thank you for this beautiful weather, the lush green that's everywhere after the tons of rain we've had the last couple weeks. Everything looks so lush, Father. We thank you for the beautiful blue sky. We thank you for the moon, how awesome it looks, majestic. The sun, the glorious sun, as a bridegroom coming from its bride's chamber, it just rises each day with excitement. New day, new day, and we praise you for you are the creator of the sun, the moon, the stars, the grass, the trees, the, the flowers, and you're our creator. And we know that you love us because you made all of that before you made Adam and Eve because you wanted everything perfect for your child. Wow. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 Lord, as we see a world gone crazy, we pray for those that have lost loved ones down in Texas now with this shooting, Lord, just so many shootings. Oh, Lord, you said as it was in the days of Noah, and Noah's days were known for violence, and now we are seeing it beyond words in our country and the whole world. You said also that the world would be filled with lawlessness. And we see that right from our government, right down to local governments, right down to the very streets of our cities, Lord. So we pray for our protection today. We thank you for Psalm 91, which is your psalm of protection upon us. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him we will trust. Surely He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers, and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth will be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that fly by day, nor of the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor of the destruction that lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for you have given your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we even dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent we shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. 
I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. What a promise. What a promise, Lord. Lord, we lift up our world before you. We pray for this creative access nation. We pray for this ministry worker who had this heart attack, Lord. Lord, I know this is written probably a month ahead of time, so we don't know his condition, but we pray for him. We pray for our world. We lift up Israel and the peace of Jerusalem, Lord. You said that you would bless those that bless Israel and curse those that curse Israel. We thank you for your blessings upon us as we bless Israel today. We pray for our United States of America. What a hurting nation we are. What a beautiful nation we were. And now to see murders, rapes, crimes, young girl going for a hike, being stabbed 15 times, on and on, Lord, this goes. We pray for our nation. We pray for our protection as things get worse out there, Lord. We thank you for protecting us Christians. We lift up Montana before you. And we pray for this state that my beautiful wife lived in for so many years. Beautiful state, Lord. We pray for them. We pray for the Christians there that you would continue to strengthen them. We pray for missionaries abroad, Lord, that you would use them mightily, Lord. Give them courage against the onslaughts. It was a day when they welcomed missionaries into areas to teach and, and bring food and all. And now it's a different world. So we pray for their safety abroad. Lord, we lift up the prayer requests that have come in and we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. We pray, Lord, as we laid hands on people yesterday at church, as we prayed for one another, as we lifted up the prayer cards, we pray for the needs of our fellow brothers and sisters. And we thank you that our God shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And I thank you. Thank you for that. I pray for my brothers and sisters and I pray for their families today. I thank you for our loved ones coming in, Lord. And I thank you again that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You said all the promises of God are yea in him. Amen. To you, Father, to you, the Son, to you, the Holy Spirit, be all the glory and praise on this new week, this new day. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for your goodness. We love you each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow, either down here or up there, because we are looking up, living in warp speed days because scripture is being fulfilled. Blessings.